All right. Um, it's, it's time for Apollo Justice. Oh, God, I have to lower that. It's been so uh, long. Like, it's been very long. Uh, I need to lower that still. This is why we test things, kids. All right. Hi. Is this a new Hello. Phoenix? Why does his hairstyle look so weird? Well, it's, it's Apollo Justice, because it's not Phoenix Wright. Ah, shit. There is also <laughs> no title music for this game. Oh, that's what? weird. So, yeah. Yeah, the the emulation is not paused. It is just silent. <laughs> and I don't particularly understand why. Next you're gonna tell us we have to read all of the text that it's not actually voiced to us. Episode one Turn about Trump. Oh man, I don't know if I have no I have no joke for this. I have no clue what to expect. Oh, I read shit. it fast and it's I thought Galileo, it said Galileo, Galilee, and Donald Duck. Galileo, Galileo. Art. Galileo, Donald Duck. Oh god, this aged like milk. Well, I mean, also, we were playing the trilogy on updated one. graphics. Yeah. So, oh, this is, I see, this is I still see. DS yeah. pixel. Allow era. me to reiterate this aged like old milk. <laughs> <laughs> like cheese. You leave cheese out. This, like cheese stick. Stick. this is just mold at this point. <laughs> Aug. Snack. Wonk. Eek. Blood. My ketchup. <laughs> oh no, my ketchup and my playing cards. <laughs> my spinach puffs. <laughs> my magic <laughs> gathering cards. Something so, like that. So. My cops gonna be here any minute! Yeah, man, your hands! Ah, <laughs> uh, those guards have not moved. <laughs> nope. But the picture is now a picture of the judge. <laughs> oh, that's weird looking. Yeah, nope. they, did for, they did it for my 25th year of service. <laughs> <laughs> Service is a strong word. April 20th, 9.37 a.m. District Good. Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. It's the oh, only man. lobby we use. <laughs> Wait, we're, we're doing this on 420. Oh, let's go. Oh, Hang on a second. oh, oh man. Hang on a second. You know what? Streams canceled in full tor until 420. <laughs> Palm sweaty. Uh, yeah, I can admit it. I'm, I'm nervous. Mom's Mom spaghetti. Mom, Mom spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. <laughs> Ohio. Ah, <laughs> uh, good morning. Ohio, go good ahead. Good morning. Uh, good, good, good morning, sir. Oh, oh. Uh, anyone want him? Who <laughs> wants to be Crystal? Crystal. I'm frozen. I can, I can grab a. Uh, Do your best, Christoph Waltz voice. German. Uh, Christopher Walken. Uh, and the German's a bit overpowered. <laughs> the German's a yeah. just wound up tight. Well, uh, well, wound up, sir. No, no, I'm, I'm loose. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> that screeching noise. Is, is that your voice? I suppose it's to be expected. Your first trial and it's a homicide. I guess justice doesn't start small, eh? Uh, I, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, I got up at 5 a.m. to do my Chords of Steel voice workout. I I'm fine. Uh, that explains it. I did detect a certain rasping quality to your speech. <coughs> I ever did it again. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, crap. As you know, your client today is a good friend of mine. I wouldn't want to let him down, if you get my drift. Uh, drift gotten, sir. Uh, I, I'm all over that drift. As it happens, I dined with him the night of the murder. Oh, we can't let this case fall through. Yes. Yes, I, I'm fine, sir. One more thing. Don't say you're fine quite so much. People might take you the wrong way. Gold. Cool. I'll be preparing for our case. You might want to introduce yourself to the client.
My name is Apollo Justice. If it isn't clear already, I'm a new attorney. And today is my first trial. Not that I'm worried or anything. The, the defendant has been accused of... murder. My, my boss wants to help him out, and uh, of course, and so do I. I. I mean, there's just no way he did it. Not him. No way. Oh. Oh! Oh! oh. That was oh. fast. <laughs> oh. Whoa! Good, uh, morning. Morning. It's all up to you today. Wait a first, fir first trial. Nervous. Meeting him. Cardiac arrest. I think I'm supposed to say something. Uh, help. So, you're... Fine! Fine! I'm, I'm fine! I'm fine. Uh, Mr. Fine, is it? Uh, I did remember you having an odd name. Well, we're, we're off to a great start. Uh, are you sure you're okay? I mean, with me? M M Mr. Gavin is a top-notch defense attorney. And he's, he's your friend, so, so why... You'll see. Uh... You can do it. Be confident. Uh, uh I... Uh, I I'm really sorry this happened to you. I mean I I, I mean I uh it, it's time, shall we? Uh y yes sir. Okay, I need to focus. First trial. Here comes justice. Justice. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Oh god, is that Winston Payne in a chartreuse <laughs> suit? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I'm a, I was the also the killer returns. I was also the voice of Winston Payne last. <clears throat> the court is now in session. I'm back, baby. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Look at those what locks. Is this, done to is this pre or post Phoenix? Right? This is post. How many hairstyles? Okay, so he's already done. Like Princess Winston Payne, I believe. Oh my! You should be ready, Your Honor. Oh, okay. Well, why get a oh, motorcycle when you could get an Omni mullet? Uh, the the defense is uh fine. I I'd be ready, Your Honor. Uh, mind going blank. Don't panic. Uh, too late. Your name was. Mr. Justice? Oh, thanks. And this is your first trial? Yeah, uh, yes, Your Honor. But, but I'm fine, really. No, oh, God damn it. Are you quite sure? Your voice sounds a bit strained. <coughs> Ahem. Mr. Gavin? Yes, Your Honor. I was under the impression that you would be heading up this case. That was my intention, yes. However, a defense attorney must always cede to his client's wishes. And my client specifically requested Mr. Justice. Well, of course he wants justice, but I do entrust his case to this greenhorn... Why? I do not exaggerate when I say that you're the best defense attorney in town, Mr. Gavin. Okay, so Gavin's got trial experience, fine. But does he have cords of steel? Christ. Now let's begin. The defendant may enter the courtroom. This is truly an unfortunate turn of events. I'm sorry we had to meet again under these circumstances. Long time no see, Mr. Wright. Let's put the past behind us, shall we? What? These days, I'm merely Phoenix Wright, piano player. What? Huh? Nani? Mr. Wright, how, how could this Nani happen? Nani I don't speak, I won't speak of it further then. Maybe you should. If the prosecution would be so kind to explain the charges, Mr. Payne? To think I saw you enter this room as a fresh attorney and now I'll, <clears throat> I'll see you leave in chains. Ah, uh, Winston Payne. Subtle as ever, I see. I don't like Phoenix with stubble. 
<laughs> I don't like it with that. I do. Flowing. <laughs> the crime occurred at the Borscht Bowl Club, a <laughs> Russian restaurant. <laughs> the Borscht Bowl Club. All right. Uh, j just wait until uh, uh, Ace Attorney Five and Six, where we get Dilf Phoenix. Oh. <laughs> The defendant, Phoenix Wright, took the victim, a customer, and he hit him, wham, on the head, smack, killed him cold. Hmm, a customer at a restaurant, you say? And the defendant, you say he was? The pianist for the club, it seems. <laughs> pianist. <laughs> Phoenix Wright, a penis? <laughs> Yep, that's the avenue we're taking, boys. <laughs> this is the weapon that took the victim's life. A puddle of, bottle of grape juice. A puddle grape of grape juice? juice. <laughs> the defendant's drink of choice. Uh -huh. The court accepts the deadly bottle as evidence. Uh. Deadly, deadly bottle added to the court record. <laughs> Something to note, Justice. All evidence is filed in the court record. Make pr a practice of checking it frequently. Oh no, we have to learn how to game again. Oh we no, sure they're do. gonna Mia <laughs> What's his face? The the court record. Uh, right, I I've heard of that. Use the court record button to look at the evidence thus far. Okay. Type other. <laughs> one of my possessions. Uh, how long did I yearn for one of these? Just putting it on makes me feel ready. All right, SpongeBob. I'm ready. The time of death was around 2 a.m., April 17th. Death caused by single blow to forehead. Huh. Prime photo one. The basement at the Borscht Bowl Club. Touch the check button for details. That, that's a dead guy, all right. Use the court record button to look at the evidence thus far. Again, and the deadly sorry, bottom. I didn't see the bottom screen. <laughs> Grip juice used as the murder weapon. Bears the defendant, Mr. Wright's prince. Huh, well. <laughs> well, that sucks. <laughs> I'm confident in your ability to handle this. Right, the court record button. Sounds like it's time for some hands-on action. So, <clears throat> the victim was a customer at this restaurant. But just who was this, um, Shady Smith character? Hello, whatever. We believe he was a traveler, Your Honor. Uh, a traveler? Got you. The traveler. Some, some sort of blues traveler. <laughs> John, John Popper, is that you? Um, <laughs> According to his passport, he had been out of the country for a number of years. He had only returned to the country recently. Though this place of residence is unclear. And he had some sort of connection with the defendant? What? Nope. That, too, is unclear at the present, Your Honor. We believe they first met at the Borscht Bowl Club on the night of the, on the, night of the crime. If they had only just met, then why murder? That's a great question, Judge. Yes, you seriously. Perhaps the victim slided the defendant's piano playing? <laughs> that doesn't appear to have been the case. No, the motive had nothing to do with the defendant's lack of playing skill. God, Winston, you should just go bald. Honestly, <laughs> bald gracefully. Um, <laughs> at least not piano playing. I'll let let the photo explain what I mean. Ugh. As we can see, a game of poker was in progress at the scene of the crime. This is slowly turning into a Meowth impression. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Isn't poker gambling? That's a crime in and of itself. No, it's not gambling. 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 It appears our defendant has fallen to become the base, basest sort of criminal. Basist isn't the word I would have used. It is true that the defendant was engaged in a game of poker with the victim. Yet it was only that. A game. In the purest sense. A competition, Your Honor. 
a competition. Yes, a test of wits. So, uh, with silent clash of passions. Only the cards, their backs were wreathed in blue flame, know its final outcome. Here, come again? With pleasure. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I had a joke lined up for that too. <laughs> <laughs> the cards on the table have blue backs, Your Honor. I believe the defense was waxing poetic in an attempt to mystify those present. Was he trying to do a magic trick? And impress women! Uh -huh. That will be our that will be our first order of business here then. <laughs> what impressing women? <laughs> <laughs> How do I do the impressing? To find out more about the fatal game of cards. Was this Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah. Mm, the heart of the cards. Very well, well defendant. You will testify to the court about your poker competition held the night of the crime. My pleasure. This is it. My first trial. Here goes nothing. I'm a pianist by trade, yet I can hardly play at all. My real job is to take on interested customers over at the poker table. The room where we play and the competition in there are the club's main attractions. The rules are simple. We play a game of poker using two decks of cards. That's all it is, a game. And our customers are happy. Hmm. A penis who can't play piano. Better than a defense attorney who can't defend. Like a penis who can't perform. Very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. Uh, uh, right, Your Honor. My first cross-examination. Don't blow it. <sighs> oh, are you all right? You're sweating bullets. I'm fine. Wait, uh... B bullets where? <laughs> Calm down, boy. Oh no, he's a weenie. <laughs> he's gonna get meed. <laughs> it's just a figure of speech, Justice. Your voice sounds strained and raspy. Hmm. My brain feels strained and raspy, sir. <laughs> You've cr watched me perform cross examination many times. <laughs> Though you've never done one yourself, have you? <laughs> Care for a refresher? What to do? Should I ask Mr. Gavin for a refresher in cross-examination? <laughs> Look at his thinking face. He's so cute. <laughs> uh, do we want the refresher course? Do we want to just play the game? No. <laughs> play the game, please. No, We're playing the game. <laughs> uh, no need for help. No need for help here, sir. I think I've got this one covered. I think you'd do better th than you think. You know it, or you do not. I'm fine. The cords of steel are ready for battle. My weapons press and present. Find any inconsistencies and lies in the testimony and reveal them in court. <laughs> that is cross-examination. <laughs> Learn it. Know it. Do it. Pop it. Inconsistencies, lies, Phoenix Wright? As if Phoenix Wright would never lie. It's up to me to prove it. The defense may begin the cross-examination. Clinton Payne, what are you thinking? Fucking hair. What do you see with your special eyes? Hold it! <laughs> You can hardly play. Oh, I play sometimes, when customers demand it. So I play them one song. That's usually all they want. A chopstick song. Is that supposed to be a boast Chop just silly. now? The title of Pianist is a mask. A respectable face I wear for the world at large. And why are you really at the Borscht Bowl Club? Hold it! <clears throat> they pay you just to play poker. That would seem to be the case. I am a professional, after all. Do I detect pride in that statement? 
It's just hard for an honest, hard-working member of society like me to imagine. Yes. Your imagination was always a bit limited, Winston. Oof. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Assassinated. What? I've played poker for seven years in that little room. I don't like that his beanie says Papa. <laughs> he is Papa. You know what? It should say Daddy. Daddy Phoenix. And I have never lost once. What? Holy shit. You see why the customers come now? Defeat the undefeated poker champion. It's quite a draw. That is, I'm quite a draw. Wait, yeah, you never, you never lost are. once? Not even one time? As I said, I'm a professional. He's got him a got him a. He's played yeah, poker for seven a... years and never lost once. Is that even possible? Statistically? No. No. <laughs> Hold it! The room in the crime scene photo is an attraction? It has quite a history, actually. The Borscht Ball Club used to be a gathering spot for black market types back in the day. B b black market? All in the past, things like the black market are only on the silver screen nowadays. Suffice it to say that there were a lot of deals being made under the table. No, nowadays it's called the dark web. <sighs> right there in that nowadays room. Nowadays it's called being a politician. A smoky room, gambling hoods, you know. Just looking at this picture makes me feel bad. The bosses gather around the table, cutting deals, safe from the eyes of the law. Meanwhile, a goon keeps watch through the small window. I can practically picture it now. That window does look like it would be a good for keeping a lookout, but little else. The room had a few other tricks to it, though it was common knowledge to our regulars. At any rate, they can't, they come to play poker in a room steeped in history. Despite the dark past, it was all just good, clean fun. Hold it! The health bar isn't segmented like it used to be. Yeah. Two decks of cards. A simple measure to prevent cheating. If you alternate two decks, no one can slip in cards. There's something else I noticed. In addition to the cards on the table, there are some lying scattered on the floor. <laughs> yes, as usually happens when you're playing poker and take a bomb on the forehead. <laughs> Precisely. Cards on the table, cards upon the floor, each one forming a complete deck. The crime scene painted blue by the sad sweep of cards. It's poetic, really. Incidentally, we used two types of cards at the club. One deck of cards was red, the other blue. Hmm. As I recall in poker, you make five card hands. I can see how it would be easy to cheat. Heh. <laughs> yes, a game of hands. This competition you're talking about, I believe the court understands the nature of the game sufficiently. Th th that's right. It was a simple game, after all. Are you sure? Huh? People are not murdered over simple games, Mr. Justice. Defendant, you were in the room the very moment the crime occurred, yet you claim no connection to the crime? Now, that's strange. What's strange? I was testifying about the competition that night. Asking me about the crime at this point is against the rules, Your Honor. Of course, I expected to hear a cry of objection from the defense. Ah! Uh, 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 I completely let that one slip by. Get justice. S sir oh, Right, there's something I'd like made clear. Namely, your connection to the case at hand, and I'd like to hear it from you. Sure, why not? 
Very well. The defendant will amend his testimony. Just one little press. I've got myself a whole new testimony. I plead silence regarding the murder, but I will say I never touched the murder weapon. Oh gosh. Oh, all right. <laughs> grape juice. How long has it been since I drank grape juice? Apparently it's Mr. Wright's favorite drink. I wonder how well it goes with borscht. <laughs> what if we become Russian? <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Ah, uh, the return <laughs> of this thing. Oh. oh I understand why it is now. Uh. uh. Oh. All right. Looking at this it hurts my eyes. Deadly. Oh, bottle. the present button is up here. Objection! Objection! So you say you didn't touch the murder weapon, this scrape juice bottle, right? So I said. Fuck. <laughs> Something the matter, Mr. Justice? He <laughs> Uh God. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad our new defense attorney never learned how to play dumb. What's this, Mr. Payne? I examined the bottle in question, you see. And it was <laughs> covered with the defendant's <laughs> fingerprints. <laughs> and it was <laughs> Rabble, Rabble, Rabble! Damn, he's been drinking the juice, too. OBJECTION! <laughs> no need to shout, Mr. Justice. I can hear you just fine. Happy <laughs> new hearing aids. <laughs> Excess yelling can damage the judge's ears. And our case. I don't like but, you, Kristoff. But what about my cords of steel? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anyway, what's so strange about fingerprints on a bottle in a restaurant? Well, that's true. The prints are, no. They wouldn't prove a thing if they were normal fingerprints. Huh? What? But the fingerprints on this murder weapon were upside down. Upside down? What does that mean? You know, not not right side up. Yeah, he grabbed it <laughs> like he was going to smash somebody with it. It means that he was holding the bottle inverted. And that it can only be one reason for that. Moida. Boom shakalaka. Oh, hair flip. Yes. <laughs> I, to brain it, someone with the bottle. The the hair flip is bad, but the fact that he has like an uwu face when he does that is even worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's ah! mean? Rabble, rabble, rabble. Uh, Mr. Gavin, I think things just took a turn for the worse. Oh, I see no problem, Justice. Huh? The only thing that matters is the truth. There's a good reason for everything, you'll see. Defendant, can you explain your fingerprints on the bottle to the court? I stand by my plea of silence regarding the murder. For now. Hmm, not very cooperative, are you? This could hurt your case. I'm sure he's uncooperative because he's hiding something. There must be a reason. Your Honor, it seems you have forgotten something. I forget a lot of things. And what might that be, Mr. Gavin? On the night of the crime, who was it that reported the murder to the police? R reported Well, that, that was the defendant, Mr. Wright, but still that. Really? Mm, yes, well, according to the case file, 
The Moida was reported near the scene. Or, I'm sorry, the Moida was, yeah, from near the scene. But a call from the defendant's cell phone. Near the scene? Let's take a look at the diagram of the Moida scene, shall we? Oh boy. Oh boy. The victim was murdered in a small room in a basement two floors down from ground level. It's a deep basement. That is a deep basement. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna work. It's uh, the basement's basement. I'm going to center to. Whoop, that's not what I want. I'm messing around with the layout a little bit. Ooh, yeah, no, not uh, quite. No, it's not. It's not there right now because I'm like, can I make the screen a little bigger? Uh, center to screen. Okay, so that's decent. So apologies. One yeah, well. moment. Okay, that looks fine. That looks fine. I just don't want to cut off any characters. Mm -hmm. So let's pull the Discord overlay over everything. Okay, I think that should be all right. Should be fine. Let's stretch that out just a little bit. Oops, that's not what I want. Apologies, one second. That is just not working the way I want it to. <clears throat> Strange. Strangely quiet. Now the storm simply rests. Why? Oh, because that's not the right thing. Discord overlay goes on top. <laughs> we'll try it. I'll 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 fix it for next time. Okay. <laughs> There, Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you moved forward. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was in my own little world there for a second. Of course, cell phones can't get reception that far down. So the defendant used the stairs in the hallway to go above ground. How the fuck else would he do it, Winston Payne? <laughs> the call came from the first floor of the restaurant. I see. And this is the phone that made the call. Right cell phone added to the court record. Huh. <laughs> the defendant could have just fled the scene of the crime if he so chose. Yet he fulfilled his duty as a citizen and reported it to the authorities. That <laughs> duty. And you claim he is being uncooperative? Save Mr. Gavin. I better not waste this. I think the prosecution has toyed with our client enough for the time being. Toy? I assure you, no one is more serious about. Was it. What was it you said? The defendant was in the room the very moment the crime occurred. How can you possibly know this? That's a good question. How, indeed? The answer is simple, Your Honor. The prosecution has a decisive witness. He, he, he. They're as good as you say they are. You are, whatever. So someone else was in the room the night of the crime. That must mean they witnessed the crime. Everything up until now has been a warm-up, Justice. Are you ready? Justice. 
Very well. The prosecution may call its first witness to the stand. Oh my. The oh witness my. will state her name and profession. Uh, hold on just a moment. Where Where is the witness? I surmise that she's been frightened by the defense's demonic looking hordes. Rude. Coming so, from you, Winston. So I use a little hair gel. Relax, people. I'm like, Winston, have you looked in a fucking mirror? I have no fear. If any horns point in your direction, in this court will this court will cut them off. And by horns, we mean testicles. Huh? Oh, she's a little Russian girl. <laughs> yeah, comrade, it is me, Russian girl. <laughs> yes. Yes. I have I. come Russian to say, girl. you are sure, yes. Perfect. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I swear on my gavel. Please, come out. Isn't violence against hair a crime, Your Honor? Well, if you are sure it is of okay. Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Oh, oh. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Would the, would the prosecution care to explain the witnesses' uh, paraphernalia? Uh, yes! She is a professional, Your Honor. Those are merely the tools of her trade. And that would be. My name is Olga Orly. Oh, really? <laughs> Orally, and eh? yes, Olga O'Reilly. I am employed as waitress in the Borscht Bowl Club restaurant. Oh, really? <laughs> no, no. Why do you say this, audience? Well, you heard why the camera? Is... <laughs> of course, it is pride to serve Borscht. That is naming restaurant. But also perform, how it said, other service. Oh, no. No, assassination. Perfect. <laughs> I, I, I take it one of the other services is taking the customer's pictures? Da, da. Like, for example, this one. That's the defendant. Indeed, on the night of the murder. Man in white hat is one who has gone kaput. Indeed. That is indeed the victim that went kaput. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Order! Order! This is quite a piece of evidence to casually drop into our laps. It is the same way as I drop cold bowls of borscht on laps of gust. Casual. Hmm, the court will casually accept this new evidence. Now, witness! Where were you at the time of the murder? No, uh, I was in the room. The hideout, we call it. Excuse me? The hideout? Yes, it is room where famous gangster bad guy was oh, God. <laughs> Fucking hell! I'm the man. All right, time to start losing brain cells to Phoenix Wright again. <laughs> Silly American. Mm -hmm. Oh, you started now. <laughs> it's room where murder took place. What? Chuck, you look of utter surprise. It is love. I will post by courtroom door later. For Da, da. Photos will be numbered, and you will write which ones you want a copy of. So there were three people in the room at the time of the crime. The victim, Shoddy Smith, Mr. Wright, and... Olga Orly, oh. our witness. And if Mr. Wright isn't oh, no, the killer, wait, that means... Hmm? Shady Smith. Oh yeah, it's Shady Smith. <laughs> that means... Very well, witness! You will testify to the court about that night's events. We brought the enemy of the Traveler here in court? Right? 
We have heard people's cry. Dark Knight. Customer asked me to deal cards for game. I am Russian. I do it. It was cold. Both players played with that song. Da. Oh, in California. <laughs> the victim. He plays. Hold time with his hand and lock it at his neck. Russians migrate to California, I'm sure. Or cat San Francisco, Francisco yeah. or whatever. San, San Francisco. Tokyo. <laughs> I just seems, isn't it San Francisco isn't weird. the same as the city from Big Hero Six? I mean, yes, yes that that is what I'm I'm referencing when I say that. Oh, no, it just I, seems no, weird. I mean, I, I thought the name in this game of the city we're in is the no, it is literally just San Francisco. Or yeah, it's, oh, it? it's not even like specified. It is just California somewhere. We're we are oh. just localized to California. Oh. According to the game, however, a you know actual Japanese Phoenix Wright game is in Japan. Yeah. So there's a lot of weird things that don't translate very well. But Edgeworth and Von Karma it. are still from Germany. Oh yeah, that is still actually a thing. <laughs> you can't take the German out of the Germany. Yeah, it's just All that right. she would be very hot right now in that get up. To give Stop. you such a fucking sauerkraut. <laughs> Go partner. Zen, last hand is done, but something terrible has happened. Duh. That man flew at the victim with wings and is strangling him to death. Hmm. Mm. Incidentally, who won the game? Is it an obvious? The winner was the victim, Mr. Smith. Objection! That's ridiculous. Uh, uh, be, uh be, because uh, because Mr. Wright can't lose. Got him. <laughs> Got him, fuck you. <laughs> Got him. He's close to grab him. Maybe you could come up with a more legitimate objection. Uh, but he, he hadn't lost in seven years. I didn't lose a case in my first seven years as a prosecutor either. Incidentally, I have some evidence here. Just pull it out of my ears. <laughs> evidence of you losing your first case? Honestly, that's kind of what it sounds like. You losing all of your hair? These are the poker chips as they lay the very moment of the crime. <laughs> the hand and chips on this side of the law to the defendant, Mr. Wright. Those on the far side belong to the victim, Mr. Smith. Chips, you say? Hmm, I could go for some lays. Ah, I, I mean, yes. <laughs> Imagine that poker is a war. Your hand is your army, and the chips are the spoils. I know that. After all, in my youth, I was known as the poker head of courtroom number three. Christ. Ju Judge, do you just have, oh. like, a oh. bed behind you? Like, do you just live in courtroom number three? Yeah, I have a mini fridge and everything. I think he means a poker face. Hmm. Looking at this picture, it does seem that most of the chips on the v are on the victim's side of the table. Hmm. But so is the bottle. True. Also, the next time that picture rolls around, I would like to point out that the victim does have... Yeah, bring that back up real quick. Um, the victim does have what is known as the dead man's hand, which is two two pair. So he's got two aces, and it looks like two kings. And then I'm assuming that's like a jack is their fifth card. So that's actually the dead man's hand. Man, <laughs> that's attention to detail. Yeah. Anyway, very well. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Enough about dead man's hands. <laughs> that fateful night. Hold it! You are dealing cards. Do you do this often? Nah. I am of doing this as speaking, yes? If customer wishes it, I serve anything. Borscht? Cards, more borscht, hot lead, you name it, come. It is my work. 
Can I get a bowl of hot lead, please? <laughs> yes. Would you like premium or extra? Uh, it's good to hear of a place that hasn't forgotten the meaning of service. Welcome you to Borscht Bowl Club, where Borscht is as warm as the waitresses. Ice cold. Wait. Uh, thank you for not handing out flyers during the cross-examination. Hold it! It's already April. How could it be cold? Because it's cold underground. I love his thinking face so it much. Cold. It's so cute. It, it looks like he's trying to have a brain blast. Yeah. <laughs> Constantly. A brain blast that'll never arrive. <laughs> no thoughts, head empty. <laughs> at Borscht Club, at Borscht Club, we have pride on authentic rustic Russian restaurant theme. Outside, it is city, in spring, but inside, it is always as cold as Mother Russia, Siki Black. That's, like, against, like, certain laws, right? It can't be, it can't be that, it can't be that cold, right? With... Nonsense. <laughs> no way am I going there. When it comes to hot borscht, cold is best season, you know? All right, Not what, are you, even, what are you trying to say? <laughs> Uh, uh, hold it! His locket. I believe was good luck, Jarn, huh? He gripped it many times as he played that night. Yes. He must have felt as though it might carry him to the moon and stars. Though if it were small enough to fit around his neck, it wouldn't have much. It wouldn't have much lift. Uh, the defense would like a clarification. This is a locket we're talking about. I mean, a pendant with a picture in it, right? Not, not a rocket. Of course, I knew that. Uh -huh. Sure. It's probably a pendant shaped like a rocket. That's why she called it the oh, Christ. No, a locket's a locket. It doesn't matter. It's considered locket, bad form locket, to poke at the locket. heart of hearing in a society. Heart of hearing or heart of understanding. It's more so heart of understanding, let's face it. Yeah. So what happened next? Well then, last Hold hand it. is no. Something well, terrible! Eek. The defense will refrain from needless shouting. Uh, uh sorry. I need well, to seriously... Well, next time doesn't smack nuts. I need to seriously reconsider this vocal training thing. Now, Miss Orly! Can you tell us what happened? Oh, hold on, I closed up my screen for a second. I was heard. Oh, I was so frightened that I tremble with fear. That man flew at Victor. Hold he it! He's strangling to death. But the defendant would never do such a thing! Oh, Please. you're right. Well, now, I can't say I've ever heard the defense try this tactic. If possible, please refrain from embarrassing me. Still, why would anyone do something like this over a game of poker? It was a game of strip poker. Because no. it is because defendant law game, yes? Yes, a crushing defeat for a man undefeated. So it's always <coughs> it is, so it always is with men like him. When is a so made sword loses? Oh how the mighty fall. Go ahead. I believe you know what it is you need to do. Right, sir. Leave it to me. There were only three people in the room at the time of the murder. The victim, Shady Smith, Mr. Wright, and... And if Mr. Wright isn't the killer... I've got you now, Orly. Do... Do I? <laughs> Just watch. The guy's, like, allergic to grape cheese or something. Uh... Flew at the victim and is strangling him to death. Wouldn't be ironic if he was allergic to borscht. Huh? <laughs> uh, alright. 
Grape juice bottle. Got the cell phone. What if you present the photo? The, the, this photo? Yeah. yeah. For what reason? Um... Is there a certain statement you have presenting on, or does it not matter? I don't know. I feel like it would be the, it would be this statement, but let's see. Um, so if he flew flew at him, wait, where where would they be in the room? Yeah. Wait, can you compare the two photos again? Yeah. Uh, so we've got this one here. Cards on the table, chips. Wait, and wait, wait. Then... Where's the victim sitting? So victim, victim is like boss. top right, like that's that arm of yeah. the chair where he's sitting. And then the armchair? there's this photo. Yeah, of them sitting together talking. Oh. But there's not. They're not playing there's cards. There's not even in this. cards there. Yeah, there's, there's not also even there's cards a piano. On the Completely different. Well, there's grape juice and stuff. Wine. Blah blah blah. In the crate next to him, yeah. eating on the table. And that's a different room. Yeah, it seems like it's a different room. And then, what wait, are... wait. What about the, the photo of him dead? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh... Oh, there's a dead photo? Yeah, oh, there's yeah, the yeah. yeah, There's yeah. the dead photo. Uh... Whoa. Huh. So how would he strangle him to death? Hmm. Good question. Yeah, but, like, Weird. the bottle is in the same place. Wait, yeah, wait, he wait, didn't that's... pick it up. Between the yeah, pictures. that's that's the thing where you present the bottle on, because they said the murder weapon was the bottle. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Uh, present. Objection. Is, are you kidding Why me? Why would that not be it? Are you kidding me? Oh, it's not the, huh? Oh, exactly. Are the evidence and the statement just now related? Judge. Of course they're related. Of course they're related. They are we are big adorable. braining already? <laughs> Oh my god, no, we're big braining big already. Brain. <laughs> no, that's just common fucking sense. <laughs> Dan, that's too smart for Phoenix, right? Uh, I'm going to over. whack some nuts. Press start at any time during the game to save your data. All right, sure. Oh, Thanks, that's easy. Apollo. Thanks. No, I don't want to return to the title screen. <laughs> Ooh, gotta be careful. <laughs> I I'm don't so think annoyed. that one made any points with the judge. Oh, hey, all right. okay. that's Phoenix, then. Let's see. Can I, can I load at any point? Oh, do I have to leave? Oh, the God. To... Oh. I have to yeah. leave to title in order to... Yeah, it looks like it. Can you make, like, suspend points with the, with the totally, the oh. totally legit Nintendo oh, yeah, DS? The, the totally legit Nintendo DS. Yeah, I can, I can do that. Oh. Gotcha. That, that's a good point, and I should do that rather than the in-game save feature. Yeah. Uh, but we should in-game save at, like, crucial points so we don't lose, Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, data. absolutely. Uh, still, still be, still be safe, but... Blue at victim and is strangling him to death. Mm. What? Like, how would he strangle him from across the table unless he stood up? Oh, I mean, he so walked around blue, and strangled like, him. He could have jumped across the table. Yeah, but nothing's disturbed. That's the yeah. thing. Yeah. The table's still pristine. Oh, from okay. The last so, two photos. so do we present the this photo where everything is exactly the same? I I'm guess. gonna, I'm gonna make a totally legit save state. Uh, yeah, we're totally saving the game right now, Nintendo. We're totally, totally saving yeah. the game. Um, yes, Capcom, please. <laughs> really? Are you kidding me? All right. Okay, so that's not right either. We're loading. <laughs> 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 Wait! Nope, 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 nope. Walk it Take back. it back. Walk it back. <laughs> Yo, Judge, I never I said an anything. Idea. Strike that yeah. from the court record. Yeah. So, uh, show her your uh, attorney's badge. That always works. Yeah. See, I'm right because oh. I have this badge. Wait, okay. We present this, not the bottle. Oh, single blow to the forehead. <sighs> Alright, sure. Objection! Oh, really? Strangled, you say? That's odd. Da, yeah. normal custom will only choke on borscht. And no, these... I mean, this report shows that the victim died of a blow to the head. Wait, what did you present? The, uh, the autopsy report. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Miss Orley, really now, did you witness the crime? 
Rebel, <laughs> Rebel, Rebel. Oh, she's taller than I thought she would be. I, I, I really child. appreciate. I really appreciated that animation. That was very silly. <laughs> hmm. Looking at the picture, it doesn't seem like he was hit. He was still wearing his hat and everything. Dude, where are the finger marks? <laughs> yeah, it is a fact that he was hit, Your Honor. Oh yeah, that's a big old blow to the noggin. Here's a photo we took of the victim with his hat off during the investigation. Who took his hat off? That's disturbing evidence. Yeah. Well, that's quite that shocking, isn't it? His, this head certainly was hit. Oh, boy. Where was that before? <laughs> Olga. Oh, sorry, I didn't know that was me. But, Olga. but I have seen it happen. The defendant, he lunged at the victim, his neck, like a vampire. Oh, really, Miss Orly? <laughs> oh, really? Oh, 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 really? I think I've caught you in your own lie this time. No, I swear, he attacked him just like Count Borshila. Count Borshila? <laughs> yeah, have you never heard? It's like Dracula, but with Borsh. He sucks no. your beats. <laughs> I want to suck oh, you. Oh, he sucks something. <laughs> beats nuts. <laughs> oh, Borsh nuts. I admire your enthusiasm, but perhaps you should think this through once more. What, what do you mean? I found a contradiction. There's one thing in her testimony that troubles me. Very well. It seems we should continue the cross-examination. There's such a thing as thinking too much. His horse is dead. Let's stop beating it. Did Phoenix? Oh, go ahead. There's such a thing as thinking out loud too much, too. Did Phoenix, like, pause seriously smack his noggin? Pause. Huh. Uh... Something terrible has happened. Okay, so that's not it? It's it, but it's not it. Wait, she changed it! Oh! He hit him with bottle. Oh. Hold it! You didn't say anything about hitting before. S -s -s Sorry, I must be forgetting this, Dada. You must forget. Witness, I am so we'll take Russian. greater care with your testimony. Da, da, I am sorry you're bald, this one. Mm. And that clears up the discrepancy with the autopsy report, I believe. The defendant made the defendant made to strangle his victim, but then changed his mind and chose a simple and blunt means to do the job. Yes, that's <clears throat> that sums it up nicely. So he strangled him, then hit him. Something's fishy about all this. Go ahead. I believe you knew what it is you need to do. Right, sir. Leave it to me. There are only three people in the room at the time of the murder. The victim, Shady Smith, Mr. Wright, and... And if Mr. Wright isn't the killer... I've got you now, Orly. I said that last time. Uh... Both players played with hats on. Plays this whole time with his hand on the locket at his neck. Hit him with a bottle. Huh. All right. What? <laughs> what do what? I... Hat removed during investigation. Okay, so I think I have to present this at both people were wearing hats. Hmm. Was with hats on. Maybe. Okay. Because if the hat was removed during investigation, then how did he get the, the, the the welt on his head? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> nope. No, because he would still be hitting the head with the bottle. <laughs> uh. uh... 
Okay, Ask right. for uh, me to deal the cards. Both players Wait, play with hats on. Plays the whole time with hand locket at his neck. There's no locket. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Wait, go back to the- Objection! Oh, never mind. <laughs> you know, there was one curious part in her testimony, just like Mr. Gavin said. But what does it mean? The number is Mason. But, Mr. Justice, would you care to explain what it is you're thinking so intently about? Recall the testimony, Your Honor. The victim played with his hand on his locket at his neck, I believe she said. I hope you aren't about to raise an objection to the witness's grammar. No, but look at this photograph. Look at this photograph! Every time I do, it makes me laugh. Do you see a locket on the victim's neck? <laughs> well done, Justice. I'm impressed. I knew you'd be able to handle this. But, but what does it mean? <laughs> All these squares really make a circle! If we were to believe this witness's testimony as is, then the locket disappeared following the victim's death. Lockets don't just disappear, Your Honor. It's quite simple when you think about it. If the locket is gone, someone must have taken it off, no? Taken it off? Wait, you don't mean... The defendant wasn't strangling the victim at all. He was taking off his locket. Wouldn't that explain it? Ah! <clears throat> rabble, rabble, rabble! Defendant, what do you have to say to this? Say. Yes. I just noticed this, but you have something hanging around your neck, don't you? Oh, God. Oh, you mean this? Yes, it's a locket with a photograph inside. A photo of my daughter. What? <laughs> Come again? Phoenix got laid? Yo, oh, Phoenix. Mr. Wright, <laughs> you have a daughter? We confirmed it at the time of the arrest. The picture in the locket is indeed Mr. Wright's daughter. So Mr. Wright has a locket too. Why don't I buy that this is just a coincidence? Uh, Mr. Wright, you did it. Uh, wait. <laughs> wait, no. I uh, can't be right. <laughs> well now, if the result of the poker game led to the murder, perhaps we should hear a bit more about the outcome of the game. Further testimony won't really be necessary. It's clear the defendant lost. Badly. Miss Orley. You will testify to the court about the game played between the victim and the defendant. No, no, no. Judge Brad. Serious competition? I mean, somebody did die. I mean, eh. The game begins with 3,500 point and chip for each borough. House chip, come in two sides. Small and not small. <laughs> small and. <laughs> the one who was winning, Da, was victim. For last hand, defended, play with all chips on table, and lost. The moment the loss was decided, the defendant grabbed the bottle from the table and... Schlapp! Indeed. Looking at this picture, it does seem to be a one-sided game. As the court knows, poker was the defendant's life! Failure must have been a bitter pill to swallow! Ah. How many times have I heard those words? I'd done it in a fit of anger, Your Honor, and now I regret it. 
A common tale, but true. He thinks the judge watches too many old court movies. I heard that. Mr. Wright said he hasn't lost in seven years, so this testimony must be wrong. Hold it! Are those the usual starting points? Were there any special rules used? No, not special. The usual game, usual rules. If each man began with 3,500 points, then the total would be... 7,000... 6,900. And 28. Um, exactly 6, Third. no, 7,000 points. Good job, Jace. Jace. This isn't calculus. It's not even long division. Those chips come with two sides, small and not small. Are the chips in this photo all the chips that were used? Da. Da. Of, of course. Something's fishy with these chips. Should no, I press that's harder? Fish and chips. That's extra. <laughs> Something's fishy with these chips, goddammit. Uh, yes. Maybe you could explain a bit about these chips. Uh, explain? Was there to explain? Oh god, the Ubu face. Yeah, it's it's really fucking atrocious. <laughs> what a smug old man. Oh, what a smug a fashion disaster of an old man. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks. Now that I've pressed her, I'd better ask something. What are these chips worth? Are they in dollars or rubles even? <laughs> not today. Yet, as I have been saying before, it was game, not game. Hard, perhaps, for capitalists to understand. <laughs> uh -huh. What the fuck? Take Two that. Two chip. 100 point chip and a thousand point chip. Is not money, duh. <laughs> Justice. Sir! Justice. Don't you find your comment interesting? Don't you In find more it ways than one, sir. Crazy. I'd have it mm. added to her testimony myself. Uh, yes. Yes, I do think this deserves further scrutiny. Add it to the testimony. I wish I knew where I was going with this. Very well. Witness, would you be so kind? The da, your honor. Hold it! Hold it. Mr. Gavin said this testimony is important. To be honest, I have no idea why. Mr. Justice? Do, do the court a favor and think of what you want to say before raising your hand. We're not in kindergarten. Uh, sorry, I'm fine. Uh, I better think of something to ask in quick. It's okay, Apollo's five. He'll get used to it. Uh, the, the two types of chips. Uh, 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 potato. Uh, uh, potato. Potato. Molasses. P p potato. Uh, p uh, p and, and tomato. And and and, and uh, uh, cr uh, crinkle cut. Uh, it's wavy. Uh, <laughs> uh, potatoes uh, and molasses. <laughs> I'm sorry, Apollo. Both uh. of those are in fact potato. <laughs> <laughs> potato and uh, potato. <laughs> Potato and tomato. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Your Honor. Uh, do you prefer uh, wavy chips or ruffle chips? Uh, which, which which is better? <laughs> I also just totally missed this line because this game likes to advance text without me clicking. Uh, uh, right, 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 of, of, of course. Ha! Don't waste your time! Uh... Is that all? Uh, yeah... Wait, Mr. Kevin made me stop her, and now I'm the one who looks dumb. Yeah. 
Oh, justice. Please try not to embarrass me like that. Fuck off! Ha <laughs> who? Oh, me? Me? What? There's a clear contradiction in the information you have in your hands. What? It's a simple matter of calculation. Go on. Try. We're not in kindergarten, after all. Calculation? What does that have to do with <laughs> Kindergarten? Math! Math. Uh. There's some. It, there's something about like thirty-five hundred or or seven thousand. Uh. What? Was it with how much it totaled at the end? Is that what we're looking for? That was the. Is it seven thousand? Yeah, because it's seven thousand. So had to add, or maybe. Can you look at that picture again? There's. Oh wait, yeah. Let's see, because so yeah, it would be. Yeah, maybe they equal thirty-five hundred each. Would it be so three large and five small? Leading to yeah. six large and ten small in total. Uh. Okay, so we've got. Is it actually making us count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's not as. Wait. Ten. One, two, three, four, oh, five, six. It. Okay, so it's six and ten. But... Huh. Two kinds in all. All chips on table and lose. What is going on here? Was victim. So it's got to be this statement. One hundred four thousand. Thirty five hundred point chips for each man. Ugh, what's going on here? Chips haven't moved. When the crime took place. Ugh. What? <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand. There is a contradiction here. I'm just gonna present the this photo. Uh, hmm. Alright, that was right, apparently. A. Right. You're sure it was the victim who won? Absolutely sure. It seems our new attorney's a bit confused. A glance at the picture is enough to tell you who won, if you're not in kindergarten. Hmm, just for safety's sake, could you explain the problem to the court? Of course, Your Honor. In this photo, I see small chips and I see large chips. Tell me, which were worth a thousand points? Why, the big ones, of course. Duh. Oh, I thought so too, but then the totals don't add up. The totals? Ugh. Let's review what the witness told us. Each man started with 3,500 points in chips, and the combined total value of the chips was 7,000 points. Yes, if my calculations are correct, let's see, three plus one carry the funny. Uh, they, they are, Your Honor. N uh, now, lo look at this photo that allegedly shows all the chips. If the big chips are worth 1,000 points, and the small chips are worth 100, and you add them up, How much is it? Do it yourself. 
yourself. You aren't in kindergarten, are you? What is with the- 10,600 points. So the chips don't add up. <laughs> this clearly contradicts the witness's testimony. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Rada, rada, rada. Oh my! How could this be? Someone was cheating. Exactly, Justice. Now that you know the what, you must determine the why. Right. There's only one possible way to explain this contradiction. Oh, shit! Starting points were wrong. Chip count was wrong. Both were right. Uh... What does that mean by both? Right? The chip count... If it was seven thousand points, the the number of chips is correct, but the mm -hmm. points were wrong. I think. Mm -hmm. Starting points were wrong. The calcul this calculation makes the answer clear. If the total combined points at the table was ten thousand six hundred, then each man started the night with fifty three hundred points. Five thousand three hundred. That's a rather half big score at which to start a game. Justice. Would the starting points really change anything? Uh... No. It seems the defense's objection was even more half baked than the score. Uh oh, time to back to head back into the kitchen. Right. There's only one possible way. Okay, so it doesn't, it doesn't, uh... The chip count was wrong? Yeah, maybe. The other thing here is the number of chips. Right, Mr. Gavin? <laughs> Why are you asking me? Uh, just in case. Justice, it's your case I'm concerned about. If you're wondering about the chips, just look at the photograph. It's all there. Even if our even our judge with his failing eyesight could count them. Rude. That's not the only thing failing the judge. Rude. <laughs> All right. Let me ask you again. All right. There's only one possible correct answer. Each man began began the game with 3,500 points. If all the chips are indeed shown in this photograph, then there can only be one answer. Well, what is it? The value of the chips was the other way around. What? Wanna know what I think? The small chips were worth a thousand points, not the big ones. Madness! Out of madness! Show me the photograph of the chips again. There are six small chips and ten large chips. Why, that does make 7,000 points when you add them up. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Excellent work, Justice. It's almost as if you figured it out yourself. Well, I, I'm just glad I was the one who said it. Oh, wait! The value of the chips may be different, but that changes nothing! Au contraire. Really? The victim did have the larger amount of chips, still. Ah! Exactly. If the small chips are a thousand points and the large chips are a hundred, let's do a little math. Add up the points for each side of the table. Ah, ah. The victim, Mr. Smith, had 2,900 points, and the defendant had 4,100 points. Well, now, it seems that Mr. Wright was winning that night after all. That's impossible. My client had even less reason to kill the victim. After all, he was winning. Yeah. Now, Miss Orley... You must have known the true value of the chips, since you were there at the scene of the crime, weren't you? 
Uh, eek. <laughs> Get your board. Ravel, ravel, ravel. Order, order, and whatnot. And it it appears the defendant has lost his motive. And Mr. Wright's supposed defeat never happened. <laughs> We must now ask ourselves whether we can. Oh. Ex excuse me? What is it, Miss Orley? I did not want to be saying this, but. Actually, you see, Erm. See what, Miss Orley? What do we see? In the last hand, there was cheat. Rabble, rabble, rabble. That's a cheat. You don't mean a trick? Wait, what do you mean? A treat. Wait. A scam. <laughs> They're all the same thing. Uh, same thing. Uh, what about a bamboozle? What about a smackledorf? <gasps> <laughs> yes, there was cheat in the last hand. That's why the game ends, with chips as they are. Great, just, just great. First way of lying, now cheating. Well, this case certainly has taken a turn. For the interesting. Witness, will you please testify to the court? Tell us about this cheating in the final hand. The last hand, both men had full house. There is four of each card in deck, from ace to kick. If you look at both men's hands, cheat is more up. The next moment, game becomes argument. Da, defend the trick, exposed. He took bottle in his hand. Or Mr. Smith. Hmm. Miss Orley, why did you not tell the court about this from the very beginning? Generic excuse. I thought I smelled a cover up here. Well, folks, it's time to throw back the covers. Hmm. A full house is a very high scoring hand. Not easy to make, in my experience. That alone is enough to suspect less than scrupulous tactics. Um, uh, Mr. Gavin. Oh, that's not me. That's. Uh, uh, Mr. Gavin. What's a full house? <laughs> Better boy. The lawyers these days. You don't know your poker? <laughs> poker? I don't know her. I can't say this bodes well for your case, nor career. What is this, some kind of secret court poker ring? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Justice. <laughs> yeah. You know the terms one pair, two pair, and three of a kind? Uh, yeah, no problem. Two cards with the same number makes a pair, and three makes three of a kind. Good. Now, picture a hand with one pair and one three of a kind. That's a full house. Hmm. That doesn't sound very easy to make, does it? Yeah. You can see each player's hand in this photo! Oh, they both have full houses. In this economy? We forget, that's an easy way to make a full house, and go undefeated for seven years. Get cheap. Ahem, the defense may cross-examine the witness. If he did cheat in the last hand, that still leaves one important question. Mr. Wright lost that hand. Who's ever heard of a professional con man losing when they cheat? Four of each card in deck from ace to king. 
cheat is more obvious. So, it's an ace, it's two aces, and three sevens. So, and then... I don't see how this is a, I don't see how this is a cheat because there are two decks. So that means there would be eight of each card. Or yeah. eight of each number, I should say. Yeah. Cheat is more obvious. It's not really, though. No. I think that somebody understands Pope. I have okay. no fucking idea. Game becomes that. argument. The defendant's trick was exposed. Argument. The defendant's trick was exposed. Like, there's no. There's no trick. No, it really he's, isn't. He's still lost. Like, even with a full house, he's still lost. Did you press him on this? Statistically, it's no. possible that since they're playing with two decks, it's statistically possible they could have had the same exact hand. Yeah. Um, it's, it's not likely, but it's possible. Hold it! How was it clear? Yeah. Duh. Well, the defendant played a fifth ace. A, a, a fifth ace? Yeah, I still remember both hands very well. Apparently not. Mr. Smith's hand has three ace. It was definitely not there in the picture. And Mr. Wright's... No, because... Mr. Smith's hand was two, two aces and three face cards. Yeah. That's according to the picture. Obviously, cheating was afoot! Or perhaps I should say, a hand! A chin! Oh. <laughs> Your Honor, perhaps this can be added into the testimony? Uh, without Mr. Payne's joke? Very well, the witness will add this detail to her testimony, please. Ah, okay. So then, then we present here. Objection. Technically, an objection. For, objection for two reasons, but yeah. we'll gloss over the first one. It appears the witness is mistaken. M mistaken, but my name. Look, this piece of evidence clearly contradicts what you said in your testimony. That. Oh, that's the photo of the chips, is it not? Justice. Perhaps you ought to explain your point in a way that the judge can comprehend. In other words, use your finger to point out the point. Yes. Please point out the contradiction in this photo. Black and white thinking Apollo. Good. Miss Orley, in your testimony, you made the following claim. Mr. Smith's hand has three aces. But as you can clearly see, the victim's hand only held two aces. Oh, got her. I got him. Oh, roasted. Wow. Well, maybe the witness was simply confused. Perhaps it was the defendant's hand that held the third ace in question. No. Objection! Oh, no. Take another look at the evidence. As you can see, the defendant also had two aces in his hand. Where's this fifth ace? I see cheating all right, and it's going on right here in this courtroom. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Rabble, 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 rabble. Two aces in each player's hand does make four aces in total. Hardly any proof of cheating. Wait, please. Wait. Do not send to Gulag. It is true. I have seen it. The fifth ace. 
Uh, there was cheating, I swear to you. He hid a in people. attorney's badge. That's odd. She must be lying, and she's the most sincere I've seen her all day. <laughs> You're right to trust your instincts. What Mr. Gavin? Who knows what lies ahead for us in the trial ahead? <laughs> your honor, if I may, I have a suggestion. What might that be, Mr. Gavin? If you don't mind, perhaps we might examine the actual cards. The cards? Mr. Payne. Uh, yeah? The player's hands that night were set aside for evidence, were they not? The defense would like to request that these cards be shown to the court. Very well, the prosecution will submit this evidence. Which will you examine? Examine. Yes. The victim cards or the defendant cards? Why can't you do both? If these cards don't prove cheating was going on, nothing will. Now, which of these hands is more suspicious? The victim's hand. It was the victim's hand that changed over the course of the witness's mm -hmm. testimony. The defense requests time to examine Mr. Smith's cards. Very well, Mr. Payne, if you would. Very well. The victim's hand. Well then, time's a-wasting. Go get him, Justice. One of these hands is gonna have, like, a card painted in a different color. Oh. Oh, Flew there back. it is. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> Only one of the cards has a blue back. I'm much more of a red guy myself. Blue is so... not red, you know? Okay, Sapphire's dead. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. Oh, now, now we have to. Now it's gonna make me <laughs> check. When examining evidence, be sure to view it from all sides and angles. Try using the dials on the evidence viewer. That should give you a better perspective of the case. Okay, let's let's do this. Touch. What? Your Honor, look at this! One of the victim's cards. The back is a different color. <laughs> oh, Mark, Mark is muted. Oh my god. That's Sorry, impossible, yeah. That, that oh, yeah. is impossible. Sorry. I was eating borscht. <laughs> That's impossible. But I put that card in the right hand. I mean, I mean <clears throat> what a funny coincidence. What was that, Miss O'Reilly? No, yet. Uh, I merely said, uh, da, I have a eek. Hey, Lee, I peed my pants. Your Honor. Mr. Gavin, yes? Tell me, what is the easiest way to cheat at poker? Cheat? I'll tell you. One merely needs a friend, a comrade, shall we say. The dealer. Oh. Ha -ha! 
Ah. Wait, so so you mean this witness, Miss Orley? She's the cheater, a professional I'd wager. Yeah, yes, I will not rabble, go back rabble, to rabble. Please. Order! Order! Focus, Justice. Time to take advantage of her. I I, I mean, I've heard a mistake. Duh. Oh my. Your Honor. Oh, oh no. Oh yes. Jeez. Please, please recall the testimony we just heard. They, that's not true. Is impossible. But I put guard in the right hand. Ergo. Oh my God! Latin. He actually says ergo. <laughs> That's how you spell Erga. Miss Olga yes. Orly conspired yes. to cheat, not with my client, but with the victim, Mr. Shady Smith. Olga! Olga Chaka. Oh, it's the Uga fucking Chaka. pursuit Uga. music! Uga. Woo! There's music coming through? Oh, do you not have music? I can hear it. I have music. Is your stream volume set to zero? I had to set it to 150. All right, there we go. 150? Oh, huh. One more to see. Not only did she cheat, she cheated poorly. Therefore, it's not hard to imagine an altercation between her and the victim. Holy shit, this theme slaps. Wait, you don't it's mean... Hard. The defense isn't accusing the witness, Ms. Ogle are you? Time for justice. There were three people in the room at the time of the incident, and if Mr. Wright isn't guilty, that means... What? I am! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the defense <laughs> accuses the witness, Ms. Olga Orly, of murder. Yeek! I will now be going back to Gulag. Mr. Payne, where is your witness, Miss Olga Orley? Ma'am, it appears she has lost her uh, consciousness, Your Honor. Hmm, Justice? Your Honor. It seems you've presented a new possibility to the court. One suggesting a connection between the witness and the victim, Mr. Smith. And that means... The court could not pronounce a verdict for the defendant at this time. I did it. I held out. I see no point in prolonging the trial for the day. The prosecution will need to make further inquiries. Oh, that's the Phoenix objection. <laughs> <laughs> but m m Mr. Wright, you can't end the trial here, Your Honor. Not yet. What nonsense is the defendant spewing now? Think, on one of the cards had a different colored back. Don't you wonder what it means? Well, what are you doing, Mr. Wright? Raising objections right when you're about to get off the hook? Ridiculous! Mr. Payne, you of all people should know, Mr. Wright has a talent for the ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> he sure fucking does. Perhaps we should get to the bottom of things. Let's clear up the facts about the game that fateful night. I have to go use the restroom. I'll be right back. As we said before, we alternated between two decks of cards that night. Who wants to be Winston understudy? <laughs> that was said before. before. Uh. The two decks at the club have different colored backs. Blue and red. One color per deck. Why use different colored backs? 
If we use the same color, the two decks might get mixed. Uh, you use different colors and they still got mixed up. We used the red deck for the last game. Oh, is he also judged? Yeah. Hmm, I see. But that's odd. For some reason, I have this impression that you were using the blue card. What? Yeah, me too. I'm sure someone said something about blue cards. Maybe you're thinking of blue, you know what? I'm back. Whatever. In the end, one card of the wrong color got into the mix. Which means there was cheating. Yes, a card slipped into the deck would seem to indicate cheating. Yet this card raises two serious questions. Apollo? Y y yes God. Let's consider the first question, shall we? Think, in the last game, when was the card swapped? When? There are three broad possibilities here. It could have been swapped before the murder, during the murder, or after the murder. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the news bulletin, Mr. Wright. Oh? It might be as simple as you think, Mr. Payne, or it might not be. I'd like to hear what Apollo thinks first. When do you think the cards were swapped? When was the card swapped into the deck? Um... During the murder? Gah... Well, uh... Saves coming? Oh yeah, I already did. <laughs> uh... You know what? Fuck it. You during. During the murder. Like, what would what would that entail? Phoenix probably would have seen it coming. And then, like, she probably wanted to frame Phoenix one way or the other wait, for wait, some but, crass but, transgression. But who would have... Who would have swapped the card into the deck? Olga. Okay, but how... How would she be doing that if she was murdering him at the same time? Wait, also, wouldn't the card be the reason for the murder? Yeah, that's... Yes. Oh, so, it has to be before. Because Olga Olga said that she she put it into Phoenix's de uh, hand, or something like that. Right. She said she put it in Wright's deck. So it's gotta be before the murder. Well, it must have happened before the murder. Yeah, but how would she have slipped it in without him noticing? She's a professional. So is Phoenix. You mean during the game? He's Phoenix is a professional card player. I wonder. Huh? Why? Think. When you're playing poker, which side of the cards face your opponent? Ah! The, the, yeah. the back. Not something the poker head of courtroom number three would be likely to miss. Uh, sorry, let me think about this some more. So... Okay, I guess after. After. I don't understand why the murder happened. Maybe, maybe it was during. Let's try during. It doesn't seem like it's going to penalize. Well, weren't they swapped during the murder? During the murder? Tell me exactly when is that? Huh? Well, the, the the very moment of the act, I I guess. Would that be the moment the cards were shown? Or perhaps the moment when the cheater was revealed. Or maybe the very moment the bottle came down on Mr. Smith's head? Uh, could I have a moment? Alright. <laughs> it is after. That moment could cost you the case. 
Think, Sorry. man. <laughs> think, Apollo. Think. think. Perhaps it happened after the murder? What? It's ridiculous. What's the point of cheating after the hands have already been shown? That's silly. Objection! Yes, but tell me. How do you swap cards during the game? I'll take silly over impossible. Thank you for me, son. There's a lot of silly in the world, but it's very little impossible. Oh? Even when the backs of the cards are a different color, if you pulled that during the game, you'd be caught in no time. Ah! Quite true. That would mean that the blue card in question was swapped after the hands were shown. After the murder. Okay, so this is going past silly and straight on to crazy. I ask again. What's the point of cheating after the game's over? Who would do that? Who indeed? That's one of the mysteries before us. Th th there's another? Yes, a simple yet decisive question must be asked. Who swapped the red card for a blue card? B who? The game is m the game and murder is done. The victim is dead. Only two remain in the room. Blame. <laughs> Alive, that is. The defendant, Phoenix Wright, and our witness, Olga O'Reilly. Okay, so who was it that swapped the red card for a blue? Someone else. <laughs> oh, I didn't Why, it must have been Olga O'Reilly who swapped the cards. She was trying to cover up evidence of the cheating. That does make some sense. Hold it! Sorry. But there's a problem with that explanation. Uh huh? The swap card was from the wrong deck. Yeah, so blue card was stuck into a red hand. Mixing a card from the wrong deck. When the backs of when the backs are different colors, remember that you're talking about Olga or Orly. She was the dealer. Do you really think she would make such a novice mistake? Actually, I have trouble imagining even the judge making that mistake. Give it a little more thought, Apollo. Uh, right, right. Okay, so who was it that swapped the red card for a blue? Why, why on earth would it be Phoenix Wright? Just to fuck with him. It must be the frickin' Hamburger Helper. The one who swapped the cards was... Mr. Wright, it was you, wasn't it? And why would I do such a thing? Uh, uh, uh well, well, because, uh, m m maybe you were, uh, trying to hide the fact that you, you cheated. You didn't want to see your lawyer's badge. <laughs> that would make sense, but the swapped cards were, were in the victim's hand. Oh. Sorry. I'm a nice guy, but I'm not that nice. Come to think of it, he would lack a motive for helping his opponent to win. Okay, so who was it that swapped the red card for a blue? Someone else! Wasn't Mr. Wright, of course. And, well, it doesn't seem like it could have been Olga Orly, either. Well, what are you suggesting? That's hardly a logical conclusion, I'll admit. As the defense, I think it'll only make sense for you to name Miss Or- really at this point. Yes, yes, I know, but... But she was the one who dealt the cards, right? I- I just can't believe she would make the mistake of swapping the wrong color card. And if the card is swapped during the game, it'd be obvious. <laughs> Something you'd like to share with the court, Mr. Wright? Oh, my, my apologies, Your Honor. I was just thinking how much fun all this is. Fun? How about confusing? I have no idea what the defense is claiming, Your Honor. 
If the one who swapped the card wasn't the defendant and wasn't Miss Orly, then who the hell was it? Uh, yeah, well, that that is the question, isn't it? Precisely. Huh? I believe we're about to see this case take a new direction. A new direction? We'll find that, indeed, after the murder. Someone swapped one of the cards in the victim's hand. And that someone made two critical mistakes. I'm sure you're going to tell us that the first was swapping the wrong color card. Because the one who did the swap didn't know two colors of cards were being used. The other mistake was the number on the card. Right, the person replaced the fifth ace with a king. It was good I... go. What was that? It was good go. Again. Oh no, because he can't see the color red. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure whoever swapped it wasn't expecting there to be a fifth ace after all. All they knew was that the game had been won with a full house. So they picked up a king from the table and swapped it in. Oh boy, there's one problem. According to a case record, this person doesn't exist. True, not until now. But you have to admit the possibility of a fourth person. Oh. Though it's more than a possibility. There was someone else there that that night at the scene of the crime. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Is he wearing flip-flops? <laughs> I hope to God Phoenix is wearing flip-flops and, and a hoodie and a beanie and sweatpants. <laughs> I believe the judge spoke truthfully earlier. You do make trials ridiculous, Mr. Wright. This trial has proceeded on the central assumption, namely, that at the time of the incident, there were only three people in that room. I believe this new evidence, shall we say, overturns that assumption. The problem is that you chose to conceal this information from the court. I suppose that is a problem, yes. Court is adjourned for a brief recess. Mr. Gavin, I'll see you in my chambers during the recess. Bow chicka bow wow. Certainly, your honor. Very well, the trial will resume in 20 minutes. Man, this is quite a doozy of a starter case. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering if we should pause here, because we are hitting the two-hour mark. Yeah, I am mark. Let's... It would be a good break time. Let's do that. I don't know how long the remainder of the case is going to be, but we, we're just provided brand new information, so we'll save the game <laughs> for realsies. And we'll return to the title screen without music. No, no music. No mucus. Apollo doesn't get music. Not Apollo yet. doesn't get music in the title screen for some reason. Like, why doesn't it have a title screen music? It's it's like, this is what you see when you boot up the game. It's like, there's no anything. So That's iconic, weird. it doesn't need it. It is weird. Anyway. That's it for us for this evening. We are starting a new adventure. The new trilogy. The new trilogy that has never, Woo! ever been <laughs> remade on the Switch or Steam or any modern console. Mm -hmm. Much as Maybe we would someday. like it to. It's never going to happen. The more, the more we deny really? it, the more likely it will become, right? I True. hope so. Yes. True. <laughs> anyway. Have a good night, everyone. Good night, everyone.